Hi there. One of the challenges that has been presented by the response to the COVID-19 virus and the accompanying stay-at-home orders issued by various states is how do we, as practitioners, assist our clients in executing documents? A lot of our work, both in, in family law and other areas of the law, is about executing contracts, executing other agreements, executing consent orders or orders of court. And our clients are understandably leery, and so are we, about people coming into the office, sitting down, and, and executing um, these, this type of paperwork. In previous posts, I've talked about the, the lengths that my firm was going to to try to ensure cleanliness, um, but there's been a fairly recent development that makes the process in some ways much easier and in some ways has caused some confusion, and that is the use of virtual notaries. On March 30th, which was Monday, Governor Hogan issued a additional executive order which authorized for the period of this emergency the use of e-notary services, which is essentially a communication technology that allows the notary to be in one location and witness the execution of a document in another location. Now there's a number of approved vendors for that communication technology, and, and that's something if you're interested in, I can talk to you more about later, or you can look it up on your own. Um, but this is, a, this is a very helpful development because it allows people to be remote to execute their documents, which is really great news. Uh, we can use it for separation agreements, and there's any number of other contracts that this would be helpful for. On the other hand, there's this interesting kind of confusion between Governor Hogan's March 30th executive order allowing the use of e-notaries and legislation that was passed in 2019 that expressly prohibited the use of electronic witnessing of wills. Wills right now are um, a fairly hot document to be executing. One, not only is it a good idea, but two, it's kind of one of those housekeeping type of documents where if you haven't done it, you could get around to it. Maybe you have some spare time. Um, and unfortunately, maybe you are thinking about, you know, resolving your affairs uh, before you might get sick, which is un unpleasant to think about, but it's a natural kind of progression of thought. The governor's order and this legislation have the potential to be very inconsistent. Um, and so, the last thing you want to do is execute a will that, that isn't going to be valid, that isn't going to be lawful. So before executing a will, or really any other document that you're interested in executing remotely, make sure your attorneys are up on the current state of the law. And the reality is, is, is the law is changing almost every single day right now for this emergency period. Um, so make sure you have a conversation with your attorney, ask, you know, what are you doing for e-notary? Is that the latest kind of directive from the state, uh, whether it's the Bar Association, the governor, the, the judiciary, what have you? While things are dynamic and changing, make sure you're up on that type of information. My law firm, Weinberg & Schwartz, takes great pride in being up on the latest information. So if you have questions about the use of an e-notary or you have any questions about a will, power of attorney, advanced health care directive, those types of housekeeping documents, please give us a call at 410-997-0203. I hope that this video is informative. And if it is, make sure you like it, make sure you share it, make sure you comment on it, and I will talk to you all soon. Thank you.